to the Gamer 7 and welcome back to Tales of Basira. We are back here in Velvet's hometown, which is why I have not switched Velvet yet. My room is now a little bit cooler. I mean, it's quite a bit cooler, but still not as not as cool as I wish it was. But you know, whatever. Uh, and we are still trying to figure out what in the world's going on with Velvet's hometown because something is not right. But if you missed the last episode, definitely go looking down in the description below to get the playlist and, you know, go and get caught up to the episodes that you've missed. Otherwise, we're going to be going to move forward. And I think there was another reason why I actually paused that, but I just don't. Oh, expedition, right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and send our, our expedition scout ship. off. Oh, huh. we did find something new. Scout but ship departing. We're going to send them back off. Where is my timing device? And so, oh gosh, oh. we're gonna head to the little star here because we're gonna make some food hey, for Hey, could I get some eggs, milk, spinach, and tomatoes? And I'd love to know what cheese you'd recommend too. You got it. And in celebration of your homecoming, I won't even charge. With you cooking up a feast like that, I'm sure Laffy Set will wake up straight away. Thanks, I really appreciate it. You're getting spinach? Voice has changed so I much. can't really handle it myself. You'll never grow up strong if you don't eat your spinach, young lady. Uh, I've done just fine without it so far, thank you. <laughs> oh, if you insist, I'll leave it out just this once. Wow, Velvet, you must be special. Not many folks get to be friends with an exorcist. She's, She's not, not my, my friend. friend. <laughs> the way you two bicker, I find that hard to believe. Oh yeah, do you have any prickle bore? Oh, I'm sorry to say that I'm out at the moment. That's fine. I'll hunt some up myself in the tranquil woods. Just like old times. Actually, there haven't been any prickle boars there lately. You should try the Morgana Woods instead. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for the tip. You don't like spinach, right, Eleanor? Well, you know, I just... All right, it's true, but keep that between us, okay? Velvet really seemed to be enjoying herself at the shop. Quite. And she can really pick out a nice balance of foods while making every gulp count. She seems so cheerful and carefree. That's the real Velvet. I'm sure of it. Yes. An ordinary, dutiful, loving sister. I wish she could have stayed that way. She could have lived a happy life, surrounded by her friends. Just plain Velvet Crow, sister to Lord Artorius. Uh, and maybe not Lord Artorius, but just plain Arthur. A happy, ordinary life for an ordinary girl, with a kind family and supportive friends. But that didn't happen. Alrighty, to the Morgana Woods to hunt some prickle boars. Yeah, sure. So this one? Yeah, this is now open for me. Didn't go out there at first. So I gotta find some prickle boar in the put. What? Oh. Not the bug little looking like thing. I don't remember what pickle boar looks like, because she used to hunt it when like she actually lived here. And apparently they're not in the central woods anymore either, which is pretty strange. I'm glad they at least let I got Modulu actually staying with us since we have to actually go back out and fight. Much would rather have a full team since I've gotten used to having a full team. Plus, I mean, I actually like my Yui's fighting stuff. She can attack from a distance and also do healing stuff. I mean, Lofty set can too, but... Yeah, Velvet here's these little bug things. I don't know what they are. I will murder the bug. Probably over killing the bug. But, uh, I don't know what Pickle Boar looks like, and it's still new. Oh, I don't remember. Can someone refresh me? To what a Pickle Boar looks won, like. Right? Is there a star somewhere on this map? Just so that it's easier for. Yes. <laughs> okay. So let's not worry about any of these things. The pickle board should be out this way. Since it gives us a nice little star on our map. <laughs> yes. 
There. There shall We're be. We're looking for prickle boars. Keep your eyes on the thickets. Thickets. Alright, I'm just going to the star that's on my mind. <laughs> that lets me know that there's something that way. Some of these plants are glowing a certain way when the light's hitting them. And they look like it's only them glowing. And I'm like, is it something that I can pick up? No. No, it's not. I don't see a pickle board, but it says... Oh, right, there it is. I'll show you the beauty of my spear work. There's a pickle board. They were nothing. Yeah, they really were. This is hunting? <laughs> we keep this up and who knows how many we'll bring home. Wait, we gotta find more? Crap! <laughs> I'd rather not. Leave me alone. I'm just looking for pickle boars, not pig people. Leave me alone. There's supposed to be one heading to the next area. Oh gosh. Sometimes this thing's hard to control, so tight areas sometimes isn't. The other way. It's strong suit. Pickle bar. We can do this. I don't even need to do that. Not even worth my time. And then it looks like there was one like out this way or something. Yeah. I'll finish this now. All right. A complete victory. Okay. Do I need to get more. This should be enough. Okay. Mm. Like, uh, huh? Everyone, I feel like. What's wrong? Creeped out. Nothing. With how I just feel a little sorry for them. Is all. I hear you. These prickle boars might have all been family. People can be so heartless. Yeah, I'd forgotten this feeling. But what can you do? At the end of the day, we have to eat just as much as they do. Yes. What can you do in this situation, indeed? Why is Marty Lou acting so weird? Luffy's waiting for us. We should run on home now. Luffy. Like, weird for her. I mean, she's already sort of weird, but, you know, off iffy. I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Okay, it came from this way. Right? <laughs> I remember where it came from. Gotta make tight curves sometimes. Nope, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Just wanna go. Just wanna go. I just wanna get back and fix this food and figure out what the heck is going on. Because something ain't right. As much as Velvet probably hopes that. This actually is how things turned out. I don't think it is. I really don't. Shopping, hunting, laughing with friends. That was how her life used to be, wasn't it? Yes. It reminds me of my own past. Huh? But wasn't your village... Uh, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. The happy times I shared with my family, I still treasure those memories. And even after the attack, I've still been able to find happiness. Eating a good meal, making new friends. And falling in love? Yes, falling in... Love? <sighs> Look what you made me say, Bianfu! There's nothing to be ashamed of. Most every girl's happiest memories are of her first love, after all. Don't you think there was Man. someone special out there Velvet had feelings for? A first love? Do you really think so? That's enough of that talk, Bianfu. You sound like an old man. No! I'm only 150 years old and already being treated like an old man! <laughs> but still, I would like to meet the guy Velvet first fell for. I wouldn't. <laughs> I see. You're a guy. Nor me. I don't know if Velvet had one. If she did, I don't think it necessarily showed in the... 
Like what we've seen of her. Yeah. Something ain't right. I'm gonna keep saying that. Something ain't right. Oh wait, wrong way. <laughs> uh, 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 this way. And then, I did this way. I did this way. Not this way. This way. <laughs> Went a little bit too far. <laughs> Sure, probably took the horns off her this time around. Let me do that right now. Actually, it isn't fitting at all with her current mood. It's actually a little bit strange. <laughs> Let me give you. Yes, bunny ears. Elf ears, yes. yes. Maybe I'll just, you know. Wait, we'll, we'll remove these and we'll. At least. Like, I could put her villager clothes on, but I don't want to change her villager clothes, but we'll at least change her hair <laughs> to how she used to have it. Oh, hey, it's these two. There's like a hair Heard the news about brain. your brother. I'm happy for you. So, what's your plan now? You guys are snooping around the village. Yeah, we wanted to check out that shrine too, but we got stopped. Apparently, the Abbey's designated it off limits. If there's a Therian around, it's probably there. I'm going to draw it out. If this is a trap, Things may turn violent. Either way, this place is about to get a lot less tranquil. <sighs> the same as everywhere else I've been. You can quit here if you like, but I'm going to keep on fighting the Abbey. And if I try to stop you, you'll insist, I presume. Velvet, no! <laughs> I'll give you one day. Once you've made up your mind, come meet me at the Cape. I'm with him. How tomorrow shakes out depends on what you decide, Velvet. Yeah, your hand, it's... As you can see, I'm a demon. Three years ago, I was the one who attacked this village and... I don't want to hear it! Demon, or no demon, you're still you. Okay, so you're scary. I'll get used to it. I promise, I'll keep it a secret. Let's just live here in the village like we used to, okay? You, me, and everyone else. Nico. I should just change her head back by now. It's a little odd. <laughs> <laughs> that was rather good, Velvet. Yeah. Lappy said gets a gold star for being such a good taste tester, too. Tomorrow, I'll fix you up a nice stew. Original copy of the book on Enominot, and all the pages are here. Velvet. Hey, Fee. Can I borrow your compass real quick? I'll give it right back. Please. Uh, all right. He really wanted a compass more than anything else. The fact that. Just Feed like you, the you that love to traveling. stare out at the sea, wondering what's on the other side. You wanted to go adventuring someday. Oh, I didn't know that. I bet once he wakes up, you two will be really good friends. So, this is what your life used to be like before everything happened, so huh? <laughs> what's gotten into you? Hmm, maybe I made the pudding a little too sweet. <sighs> Velvet, 
How do you know what it tastes like? <sighs> I think I'll get myself some shut eye. But what are you going to do about tomorrow? Magilu, are there arts that let the caster manipulate dreams? Huh? Dreams? Why? There is, yes, an art that requires a certain type of Moloch. It envelops you in a fog, and reads your regrets, then traps you in a happy dream. An art that reads your regrets, and shows you happiness. Like Are you going the to the cape? Now? What on earth's gotten into you? Velvet. <gasps> Velvet! Don't go. Stay here. Stay with me. This is Fee's compass. I'm sorry, Luffy. No, don't. Wait. Velvet, wait. Don't. Don't leave me here. <laughs> Is this what Mogilu was talking about? We're going to the Cape Shrine. It's time to drag out the Therian. She realizes something was definitely up there. Because she could taste. She can only taste in her dreams. But it's like it's like a partial dream, so it's almost like it brought Velvet's dreams into a reality. I guess. And everyone's been experiencing them. There you are. Velvet, you have to stop your friends. They keep saying they're going to the Cape, and they just won't listen. The Abbey's forbidden anyone from going inside. We'll all be punished if anyone breaks the rules. I hate to say it, Nico, but I think I'm a terrible person. I really thought I could have my old life back again, and I could forget everything else. I tried to act like I was doing it for Luffy, but it was all for myself. But I can't forget. I shouldn't forget. Luffy is dead. He was murdered without even knowing why. I will never forgive that. Ever! So get out of my way. If you don't, I'll devour you again! Velvet. Why? Why must you do this? There we go. The truth at last. But one of the things I was thinking is one of the things that I somehow said is that sometimes. Mollocks are born from humans actually. And I just think the fee that we've been traveling with has like, so many similarities to her brother. So many. That maybe he was technically born from her brother, but he has no memories of all that, so. This way! The shrine's through these woods! Hey, mind telling me what the hell's going on? It's a trap. Trap, trap, trap. Our enemy spun an illusion based on Velvet's dreams. That's a nasty little art. But Velvet saw through it all? She did. But even if it's all a dream, such brutality on her part. Eh, Velvet's always been our brutal poodle. But to shake off the dream by herself, now that's something. The boundary between dreams and reality is demarcated solely by one's own heart. What? I'm saying she's wowie zowie cool beans. Come on, we gotta hurry. <laughs> That's why Magilu was sort of acting weird. She had a feeling. But I guess she was waiting to see if Velvet could break through it. Hell, even if it wasn't. I won't turn back! I want these. Yeah. 
So I'm wondering if technically maybe she didn't devour them all, but they were still lingering around here as demons, or if what was happening. Because how, how did the dream illusion turn demons into her village people? Just curious how it works, sort of. I mean, I get the basis of it, but... Die, buddy, die. Do it. All right, listen. Stop. <laughs> Damn it. Come on, guys. Got it. I will cut down anyone in my way. She's back to the velvet window. I should have had the horns off last episode and then put them back on this episode. But oh well. Too late now. Too late now. Excuse me. I'm exploring while also trying to hurry. Makes no sense, I know. But. What is that gonna do? Ah, it's me over here. And there's a chest. Uh, what was it? Apple shell, okay. Is this where I can go to- Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Got those cat- Cat spirits. Yee. Yeah. So now we just go up straight this way. We don't turn. Do not- Uh, wait. What? Oh. I do turn here, though. <laughs> Never mind. Oh god! I didn't expect that to be there. Oh, and I would have continued this way instead. Oh, okay. Okay. Less confusion. That box is already open. Therefore, I've got it before. Wait. I'm confused. Oh, all the confusion. Is that the shrine? There it is! The Therian! Is that the Therian? Shouldn't it have been behind a barrier? I mean, maybe. I've liked all the ones that were actually humans. <laughs> also, sort of sad that it, if it's a wolf thingy. I mean, it looks cool, don't get me wrong. I just think the ones that have a human bit to them have a more interesting story to them. But it does look really friggin' cool. Oh, it's got like two color heads here. Got blue on one side and more of a red on the other. I see. Where'd it go? Leave me alone. Oh god. Okay. I need. I need. I need help. Do I have some? Okay. Thought I had some status thing on me there for a moment, and I was like, no! <laughs> Come on, Isaac. Come back into the fight here. I need some more BBs. <laughs> I would like to have those others back, please. Yeah, go, my girl. Smush it! Smush it! It's smushed. Noop! Noop! Stop running away! It again. There we go. Got it back. And then lost it again. Alright. 
Chili! Yeah! Go! Beat him up! Beat him up! Okay. I don't know if it's male or female. Beat him up! I need some, like, healing. I don't want to heal. Stop following me. I need to heal myself. Leave me alone. Yeah! Yeah! I was getting a little focused there. It's so close. It's getting so much closer. Come on. Come on. Get down. So close! So close. We got this. We got this. We got this. Now she defeated the barrier. But shouldn't the barrier have been on the other side of it? Sorry, pups. You're coming with me. Velvet! It's okay. I killed their owner. I deserve all their hate. And then some. Oh, she knows which dogs they belong to. But not now. Understand? Once I get my revenge, you can tear me apart if you like. I promise. Until then... I'll need your help. Oh, oh. Guess the art finally evaporated. The book. It disappeared. What book? I found a copy of the ancient book with every page still intact. It was in Velvet's house. Artorias's book. The real one might still be there. We should go back to Velvet's house to search for it. Well, we see the village more like it's meant to be now. Everyone leveled up at one time this time, together. That's nice. And this... is where Velvet became what she is. Apparently there's also a Code Red demon here. Nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna fool with it right now. I am gonna actually, like, next time around, try to fool with all the Code Red demons. I do want to see what this one looks like. Oh, it's just a skeleton. Yeah, it's just a skeleton thing. Doesn't look as intimidating as most of them we've seen. That was Let's one hell of an illusion. I have to admire the skill that went into its construction. The caster probably has a tethered Moloch with a unique power on the same level as my Reaper's curse. I can think of one person who would lay such a wicked trap. Still, we may have a new clue to the nature of Enominot. You found Enominot's book, right, Lafayette? Yeah, in Velvet's house. Then let's hurry to Velvet's house. If it's still there. Oh, wait. Oh! Yes. Be there. There's nobody here. This is reality. I think the buildings would start being a little bit run down, though. That's what I was sort of expecting. With a town that hasn't been lived in for three years, you'd think nature would start to overcome it. Oh. Wrong way. Wrong way. Or maybe not wrong way. Maybe not. Am I getting confused? Yes, I was. I was. Oh, this is her house. Okay. 
For some reason, I didn't think this was her house. I didn't pay attention to it. Dumb moment there. Okay, was it here? It's empty. No surprise there. Artorius is too thorough to overlook something like that. If only I'd showed it to you as soon as I found it. Don't beat yourself up over it. We wouldn't have been able to read it without Grimoire anyhow. It was just a dream. All of it. All right. Oh, but there's exclamation marks in here. This was your room, wasn't it? You can knit. I was trying to learn. Nico said she'd teach me how as a thank you for giving her my quiche recipe. We wanted to finish a set of scarves for the winter. Velvet. Forget about it. I don't need to knit anymore. Okay, and then the other one is here. Check out all these complicated looking books. A hand drawn map! Nice. It's incomplete, but seems quite detailed. It's beautiful. My brother drew it every day. Even when his fever got too strong for him to read a book, he'd stare at that map for hours. Luffy said he, he wanted to travel the world? Yes, it was his dream. I never understood what made him want to do something so dangerous. But I'm living his dream now. It's ironic, isn't it? Another. Those are the graves of my sister and her son. He died before he was even born. They're in rough shape. We should lay some flowers. Don't bother. There's no point. A keen insight. Eating one would be cruel enough, but plucking an innocent flower just to offer it as decoration for some memorial. That's not even a sacrifice, just a cruelty devoid of all purpose. Melchior! As obtuse as ever. I take it you're the one behind the dream fog? I must say, you did well to break for such resolve. If you weren't a Therian, I'd be tempted to take you under my wing. Did you come here to flatter me? Indeed. Although I was already in the neighborhood to retrieve this book. I'll be taking that. This book was compiled by my dear friend, who was also Artorius's mentor and predecessor as head of the Exorcists. It contains the hopes and dreams left by a noble soul, who gave his life for the world that grieved him. It is not for a tainted demon to touch. Like we need your permission! <laughs> yeah! Look who obeyed me for once. Is that... You didn't! Be patient. You'll know Sorry. everything before long. What we seek is the realization of a perfect order. As tranquil and beautiful a as a wildflower in bloom. That... A that perfect me? order? Let's go. There's nothing left for us here. Anyway, I'm actually going to end this episode here. So now we all know it was a dream illusion state thing. So it definitely was magic. Uh, definitely initially magic. That... That Moloch had a hairstyle very similar to Zavid and the fact that Aizen reacted to it makes me really wonder if it is. So... But what happened to him that caused him to look like that, if that is him? interesting we'll just have to see in the next episode i hope you've enjoyed this episode if so hit that lovely like button and make sure you subscribe <laughs> words subscribe so that you can see future episodes of tales of Assyria and other things here on the channel and i'll see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>